The moment I realized I wanted to work in research was during the first summer of my undergrad, uh, and I had the opportunity to work in a research lab. Uh, I was doing polymer chemistry to try and make cell organoids. And it was completely different from what I do now. But the idea that I could be working in the lab, discovering things that nobody knew, making a substance that had never existed before today, was something that really appealed to me. So I work on a project uh, with some collaborators at the Acceleration Consortium, making a chemistry-aware AI that can do molecule design. And the goal is to identify a small molecule that can change the function of every protein in the human body. So this is gonna really change our ability to uncover new disease biology, to be able to validate new drug targets. And the scale of the operation that needs to happen to be able to do this for every protein in the human body simply isn't achievable. So the self-driving lab is really going to enable us to hit this goal by 2035. Self-driving labs are really the future of research, particularly for medicinal chemistry discovery. A human can make and analyze the results from one or two experiments. But if you're suddenly running hundreds of experiments in parallel, there needs to be some way to process that data and start analyzing it that doesn't require 100 different people looking at the data. So it can really come up with things that we maybe wouldn't have designed on our own. The Accelerate Conference is a fantastic opportunity to be part of the community around self-driving labs. This is really a thriving research space. There's so much happening in so many different fields. I think there's basically no field that isn't going to be impacted by automation and AI in the next 10 years. So people should really start getting involved uh, so they don't get left behind. Going to conferences is such a tremendous opportunity for students who are just starting their career in research. It's really important when we're starting to build a community around the idea of self-driving labs and autonomous research that we're building it to be diverse from the beginning. Nobody is able to guide research about an underrepresented group like someone who is part of that underrepresented group. So we really have the opportunity here to make sure that the community around self-driving labs is diverse right from the beginning. 